Hi, and welcome to the show. Um, today we're going to be um, doing some foam metal techniques on some chipboard wings. And this is from my wing collection. And you can purchase these on um, my website at thealteredmusestudio.com. And you get all three of these, and they're fairly good size. These wings from here to here is about six and a half inches. Same with this from here to here. It's about six and a half inches, and I think this is um, close to six inches. The butterfly. So we got the butterfly, the fairy, and the angel wings. You put my, um, Christine, you put the um, Ustream channel link up. That's okay. So, um, just to give you an idea, this is, these are the wings that I use. If you remember me doing this um, canvas, oh gosh, it was a while ago, a couple months ago, I did this canvas, and um, these are the wings that I used. For the canvas, these are a little bit smaller, and let me see if I can hold it up so you can see the um, metal. Let me turn it. You can kind of see the metal technique that I used on there. So we're going to be doing this, and we're going to be doing um, a rusted painted metal technique, but these are actually going to be angel wings, so I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with these, and I'm going to show you several different ways you can achieve um, the faux metal look. Um, one of the ways I you can use Maj Paj, you can use the Claudine Helmuth Studio Multi Matte Medium. And that, I'm going to show you, I'm going to use the Maj Paj, because I know everybody pretty much has Maj Paj in their arsenal. So to get that bumpy texture that I have on here, what I'm going to do is get a nice fluffy brush, paintbrush, okay, and you're going to need um, a heat gun. <coughs> and what you're going to do is you're going to get a good amount on the paintbrush and you're just going to blob it. Just kind of dab it and get it kind of spread around. And yes, this is a very messy um, messy, uh, what do you want to call it, technique, but it's fun. So you want to get a nice good amount on here. And you want kind of a thick, bumpy coat on here. So I'm just going to set this aside, and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my paper towel, and I need to pick this off of here. It probably would be better if you if you put it on. Let's see if I can. Uh, I gotta get my tool here. I kind of have it stuck to my glass, so I just need to wipe this up. Because if you um, heat it and you have Maj Paj all over your surface, you're actually going to glue it to that surface. You don't want to do that. So, I'm just going to wipe off the back just a little bit because, like I said, we're going to heat it up and you don't want it to stick to your surface. So now you're going to hit it with the heat gun. And the Maj Paj will start bubbling, and that's what you need. I know, this is kind of noisy. 
This is going to be a noisy class with my heat gun. Once it starts bubbling, I'll show you guys. Can you see that bubbling? I don't know, probably not because it's white. I should have tinted the um, Mod Podge, but that's okay. I'll show you in just a minute. And you kind of want to hold it in one spot. You don't want to move your um, heat gun around too much because you want it to heat it up to the point where it's like it looks like it's boiling. Okay, so we're going to let that air dry just a few minutes. Ooh. See, this is what you don't want happening. And this is why I said um, I should really have one of those non-stick crack mats because then this wouldn't happen, but it's no big deal. I don't know if you can see. Probably not. Oh, there we go. Can you see that texture? That's what we want to do, but we actually want it a little more bubbly, so I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes just so it can um, dry up just a wee bit. And I'm going to take my fluffy brush again, and this time I'm actually going to do it on a paper towel so I don't have to keep wiping my surface. And just go in the spots where it didn't bubble up that much. And you're going to work in, now you're going to work in just small sections because the chipboard is actually heated up so it will dry faster. to work in small doses here. And we're going to hit it with the heat gun again and get it to bubble.
I'll hold it up just a little bit so you can see. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to get it so you guys can see the texture. And I'm not doing very good. Not a very good job, am I? There you go. Kristen, I didn't even notice you were in. Who else did I miss? Let's see. Kristen and Lori. Okay, so I gotta get this really long um, part of this wing here. So I'm actually going to hold it up. It's just easier to in a nice layer on. going to hit it again with a heat gun. getting off a little tangled piece. There we go. Now I just have down here these little wings, um, the edges of the wings here. And I just did that on my surface and I didn't want to do that. That's okay. I'm going to lift it up. The key is is the big fluffy if you can get a nice fluffy brush. That's the key to um getting it um the Maj Podge all um kind of gloppy on there. We're just going to set this one aside for a little bit and then I'm going to show you how to paint it up because it is kind of, like I said, the Maj Podge was kind of gloppy on there. So we want that to dry up just a wee bit. So I have the other half of this wing and I'm going to show you a different technique that um, of creating a nice metal finish and that is using aluminum foil 
And you want to make sure that you have uh, like three times bigger piece than what you're going to cover. So, and I just, I don't have the real heavy weight. This is, you know, pretty lightweight aluminum foil. And we're just going to crunch it all up. Not real tight because of, then you can't open it, but... So I have it all nice and crunchy. And now we're going to open it up. But we want to keep the wrinkles. So don't smooth it out too much. Just kind of crunch it. Scrunch it and crunch it, just like this. Okay, so we have my aluminum foil is all scrunchy and crunchy and everything. So it's, um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to hear the aluminum foil to um, the chipboard wing. And again, if you guys um, want these wings, um, I have them available in my store. You get all three of the wings that I'm going to be working on. Um, and these are the large, and I'm working on making um, small ones. But these are the big ones, like this wing is um, six and a half inches from here to here. And this one is a little over six inches, and this one is a little over almost six inches, I believe. And this is the butterfly, this is the fairy wing, and this is the angel wing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nice good coat now of Mod Podge on this wing. And you want a nice thick coat because we're going to be scrunching that aluminum foil down. And I know I'm making a huge mess. But that's the fun of crafting, making a mess. Okay. So I have it all on there. Let me clean off my fingers. And we're going to take the aluminum foil. And we're going to just set it right on there. And you're just going to give it a nice little press. Press and scrunch, I should say. Okay? And then what I want to do is reach under here and get that up. I'm going to turn it over. Let me wipe this off a bit because it oozed out a little bit. And I want to make sure that this is sticking really, really well, especially on the tips of the wings. Now, normally what I do, but um, I didn't want to do this because I'm not sure if, you know, once in a while you have young kids watching. But before I normally do this, I will um, scorch the aluminum foil with a candle, the flame of the candle, and get a nice um, variation of color. But it's really not necessary because we're going to use paint to get the same effect. So once you have that stuck down really well, <coughs> you have to excuse me. My, um, I have really bad 
sinuses and allergies, and I just got sinuses just dripping down the back of my throat here. I know I don't need, need to gross you all out, but... You're not going to want to cut this all the way to um, the, the chipboard. You do want some hangover, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're cutting this out. And you don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you cut it too close in one spot, it doesn't matter. You don't have to start over. Okay? Yeah, me too. I like summer. Except our summer has been, like, really hot here. So, I just want mild temperatures. that's what it looks like now. You can see that I didn't cut all the way up to the chipboard. I left um, a hangover with the aluminum foil. So what you're going to do then is just go around because you want your edges to have that this look too. So that's why I always um, make sure that there's enough hangover that you can go around and fold these over. And if you have to, like some of these, I, I you have to kind of flip them over to see where you're at and what you're doing here. And that's fine.
And for like really tight corners, um, you can always use like a skewer or um, whatever you have on hand that's got a, a pointy tip on it. And see, I'm just going to go in with my skewer right here and just kind of fold that over. Just like that. So I'm almost done. And then we can um, paint these up. And you will see how this transforms into um, a more metal um, finish, although it is metal. It's aluminum foil, but can't just have silver. We gotta add some different variations of color. So I have it all folded over. This tip I gotta fix. There we go. So that is so far what I have with the aluminum foil. So now when I take paint to it, let me move my scraps of foil over and get this out and we'll get some paint out and I'm going to show you both of these, um, just the difference. So I'm going to be using the Folk Art Metallic Paints and I have um, metallic black, I have metallic gold, and metallic brown. This is uh, actually a Craft Smart metallic brown. I think uh, this is um, a Michaels brand. Um, I also have some pearl. So these are the colors I'll, I'll be using. Plus, um, I'm going to be using uh, some Lindy's sprays. I just have to find my. Ah, I'm. I'll be using the Screaming Banshee Black. Also, on this. So I'm going to start with uh, some black, and we're going to be doing the dry brush technique. And you guys have seen me do the dry brush before. So I like a nice, um, not that one, a nice stiff brush when I do the dry brush. And I am just going to go over And you don't want to cover the whole thing because we're going to be putting different colors on here. And you want some darker than others, some spots darker than others. So this is what it looks like so far. Not much to look at. Um, you can also do the bubble technique. I wanted to tell you this, too. You can also do this bubble technique with the metallic paints because there's something in the metallic paints that um, it bubbles up. So now you're going to see this really pop on the 
one that I covered with aluminum foil, the black. And I just kind of dab. I don't really paint it on except for like this piece right here because it's kind of long and weird and awkward. Not weird. I shouldn't say weird. Not weird. So there, you can see. Let me pick it up. There's the one with the aluminum foil. Okay. So we got two different things going on here. I'm going to just clean my brush a little bit because I'm going to use a different color. I'm going to go in with some of this um, coppery brown. I ran out of copper, so I'm using the brown, but it looks the same to me when you put it on the just a little bit more. You don't want a completely dry brush, but you don't want like a whole ton. done. Let me get this one done and then I'll hold them up so you guys can see. And I have not a lot of paint on here, but enough that I can get a nice color. So this is what we have so far. Now that is the black with the brown or copper. And that this is the one with the Maj Podge that I bubbled. Yep. Next week I'm going to show you some projects using these wings. And here's the, the tin foil. So I think we need to add, I think I want to spray it now with a little bit of this Banshee Black because it'll get in the little nooks and crannies. And this is the Starburst Spray from Lindy's. And this has um, a blue-ish color with the black like a tint, a blue. So I'm just going to set these aside for a minute. Oh, I sprayed my other wings. Yuck. Didn't want to do that. That's alright. Alright, let me hit them with the heat gun to dry that. And then you'll see the blue come out.
Now this is really starting to look very metal -y. Can you guys see that? This is the one with Maj Paj. And this is the one with aluminum foil. So you kind of have two different textures. So if we wanted to, we can go in now with just a touch of gold, okay, and I'm just going to take it from the lid here. And I'm just going to lightly just kind of stroke in areas, very light, especially on the little um, tips of these wings. I'm there using almost barely touching. You're going to hear our ice cream man going down the street. <laughs> And this is just picking up the raised, um, going over it really light like this. Um, it's just getting the raised parts of uh, the metal look. It's a little heavy right there. Yep, you can do this on anything, on um, keys, you know, chipboard keys. So here is, let my camera focus here, here is uh, the wing that I did with Maj Paj, and you can see a little bit of the gold shimmering, okay. <laughs> I'll ask him, Bonnie. And here's uh, the aluminum foil one, and you can see that touch of gold. So there is one metal. Well, two metal techniques, I should say. Not one, because we did aluminum foil and Maj Paj. So I'm going to move these off to the side because these are done. And what's cool, um, I did cut these out of a lighter weight chipboard so you can bend these wings and kind of shape them. just like that. You can see how I added um, it's kind of it's not laying flat anymore. Yeah, the foil one is actually uh, very easy to do. And I just keep aluminum foil up in my craft room. So you can do the same thing with the aluminum foil one, and actually the aluminum foil one, because it is aluminum foil, actually uh, you can shape it just a wee bit better. Because it will hold.
see? That one has, it's kind of curved, you can see on the side. Now, if you're going to use these, like, if you're going to make an art doll, which that's one of the projects I'll be doing with these um, wings next week. I'm going to be making an art doll. Um, you're going to want to do both sides because the backs of these will be exposed. But for most of your projects, if you're going to put them, use them like on a scrapbook page or use them um, on a canvas, one side is just fine. Okay. So I'm going to set these aside and I am going to get out now the butterfly wings. And these ones, I'm going to actually do more of a shabby chic look to them. And we're going to make it look like um, rusted painted metal. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing with the Maj Paj. So yes, it's going to get noisy up in here again. Let me get my scruffy brush. Clean it off. And then for the angel wings, we're actually going to make them look like angel wings. So it's not really a metal technique, but it's a nice little technique for wings. Okay. Alright, so I have my Maj Paj back out. And I'm getting a glob of it on there. And I'm just dabbing it on because you want lumps and bumps on here. And you want to keep loading your brush with it too because if you um, let it get too um, dry, it won't bubble up. Alright. So let me get my heat gun out. I don't want this as chunky 
as uh, the other wings that I just showed you. I actually just want it lightly bumpy. Okay. I'm just gonna hit it again. the texture. Let me see. If I can get it. There we go. Can you see that? It's a little bit different than the ones I just did. Um, I didn't go quite as uh, lumpy bumpy. Just a little bit in spots because well, you'll see when I um, add the paint. So I'm just going to do the other one real quick. So I have a matching set. This one with the heat gun. some of these big bubbles popping up, I think. Maybe not.
So we're going to let this one dry now. I'm going to move him off to the side so he can dry. And I'm going to close up my Mod Podge. Alright, so we have a wing. And this is the butterfly wing. Alright, and I am using the folk art, what is this? This is called Cinnamon. The, and it's just regular paint. It's not metallic paint or anything else. And I'm going to start with this color first because this is more of a rusted, like a rusty color. And I'm just going over where it kind of really bubbled up. So that's all you need on there. And it doesn't look like much, but trust me, it's going to be something. So there's my rust. So then I'm going to take some white paint. And this is just here again, acrylic paint. i got to clean my brush. sure it's really clean because I have white paint. I'm going to have some there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to get some white paint and I have it loaded up pretty good. And I'm just lightly tapping over where I put that rust color. And then heavier where there isn't any. And if you get like a little heavy in a spot, you can just dab it off. And I'm just going to build up and I'm going to keep working at this. So we're probably going to be going back and forth between that rusty color and the paint the white paints. Till I achieve what I like. And I'm just going to hit it with the heat gun really quick here. And I'm just going to go back to this rust colored paint. I'm just going to grab a different paint brush. And I just have very little on here. And I'm just going to lightly
brush it on. And kind of dab it. So I have like a light and dark. I got really dark here. And I'm going to get just a little bit more paint because I want it darker in spots. And you can just play with this until you like it. And if you get it and you're like, oh, I wish I put more texture on, you can go back with the Mod Podge right over this and add more texture if you need to. This is very, it's a very forgiving And now I'm just going over it with the white, and it's almost a dry brush. I don't have a lot of paint on it. I am going to get it heavy in some spots. So that's what I have. Oops, let me get it to the side so you can see. You can see like some rust peeking through, but it yet it's painted white. And then what I'm going to do is get out my trusty old, as soon as I find it, patina, rub and buff, because you can't have rust without patina. And I'm just getting some on my finger and I'm dabbing it off and I'm just lightly touching and you'll see it when I hold it up to the camera And there you can see a little bit of the, oops, I get it. Can you see the, a little bit of the um, turquoise? And there, it's very faint. So if you can't see it, it's, Use stream isn't that great of a quality sometimes with the videos. I just need to clean up my mess here. So let me just show you really quick. Okay, so let's say, oh, it's all flat right here, and I don't like that. So we're going to go back and add some more texture. Grab out some Maj Podge and my little scruffy brush. And I'm just going to.
going to add a little more texture right in this spot. And I'm just, I just want to show you that this is very, very forgiving. That is a very, very flat spot. So I'm just going to add some texture. Okay, so I added some more texture on here, and I'm just going to let that dry up just a wee bit. And then we can, um, I'll paint that one up, but I figured I'd do the other one while we're waiting. for that coppery color and I'm just gonna I'm going heavy this time All right. and every single time you do this it's gonna come out different it's just the way it is get my white paint. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to use white. I was going to use the pearl, but all right, we'll use some white. Yeah, well, you weren't going to really, like, I didn't think you'd be able to see that um, patina, but it's like a turquoise color. Oops, I got paint's just dripping off my brush. All I'm doing is just tapping my paintbrush. I want some heavier white in some spots. going to tap some of this off. And I'm going to go back with the rusted color in a few spots. light little brush here and there and then we're going to fill it in with some white
And like I said, you just want to play with um, the two paints, the white and the uh, cinnamon color, or I say rust color. Oh, I got way too much paint there. But that's okay. We're going to get it off there in just a minute. So I'm just going to take my heat gun to this real quick <laughs> and shoot it across my table. Then I'm just going to take my patina again. I'll try to make this one just a wee bit darker for you so you guys can see it. Now maybe you can see some of the turquoise. Can you see the turquoise color or the patina? So that's it. Okay, so let me bring this one back over because this one, remember I said, oh, I need more texture. So... We are have to fix where I put that more texture on. So I'm going to go over it. With the rusty color. And then I'm going to go over it with the white. And I'm just trying to blend it in with the other part that I had already done.
Wow, I got silent all of a sudden. Apparently I can't talk and think at the same, or paint at the same time. So I'm just going to hit this with a gun. Dry it up. And I just need a little more white. dab it off a little bit and I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. Okay. And then I'm going to hit it with a little bit of patina. Rub and buff. And there I have kind of a shabby chic looking wings. Okay. And you can have more white than rust. Um, you can um, use a uh, metallic, like brown paint for the rust color if you want a more metallic finish. Um, you can actually even go over it with the folk art, the pearl white metallic. And I'll just show you. I'm going to dry brush this on. Let me clean a brush. Yep. You can use molding paste too for texture. So I'm just going to, I just want to add like a, um, a shimmer to this. So what I'm going to do is just dry brush using some of this white pearl metallic paint and this will actually give it a really um, cool looking effect. And let me get the other wing and I'll show ya. Okay, so let me close this paint up. I gotta turn my paints upside down. I store them upside down so they're for the ready when I want them. Because I usually just dip my paintbrush, I don't actually squeeze paint out. So now you're gonna see. Let me get them in my hand. Now you're gonna see some shimmer. Can you see the shimmer?
just dry brushing that pearl white. It didn't take anything away from like the rust look. It just added a metallic sheen. As long as you dry brush it, you're good. So on to my next lovely wing set. And these are the angel wings. And actually, Christine mentioned uh, molding paste, and that is exactly what I was going to use on these wings. open my new jar. I use a lot of molding paste. I should own stock in the company, I'm telling you. So I'm just going to use a brush because I actually want these to look um, like feathers. And I'm just using this is a round, and it doesn't have the size on it. Oh, number eight. And I'm just globbing it on, getting a lot of molding paste on here, and doing long brush strokes. So it'll look like feathers. See, I'm getting a lot on my brush. I'm going to go. You want to follow the same direction as these tips and just kind of blend as you go along. This has to dry, and I'll probably hit it with the heat gun, but I just want to see, can you see the texture? I'm going to set this one aside, and I'm going to do the same thing to this one. And then when I'm done with this one, I'll hit it with a heat gun so we can um, make them look more angelic. And I'm just trying to make sure I get it all covered. Okay. 
So there's that one. No, this is molding paste. Liquitex molding paste. And this is a gel medium. That's what it says. I can't remember if this is light body or heavy body. It doesn't say on here. I'm going to say this is a light body. I just cleaned this, um, my glass up all for you guys today so you didn't see my mess. And look at, I have a whole other mess on here. Okay, I'm just going to hit this one with the heat gun just to dry it. one, I want it to be very, very angelic looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some, what did you miss? Oh, the, that I was using molding paste. I'm going to use just the acrylic white paint. I'll put a good amount in there because I'm going to do both wings. And then... I have some Dazzling Diamonds glitter, and you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see the glitter, but it's very, it's very, um, diamond looking. So I'm just going to dump some of the glitter in the paint here, and I'm just going to give it a stir. Make sure you stir it up really, really good because it does tend to chunky up. And I do need a little bit more. a little bit more. Oops. I want it really super glittery. Okay. So I have that all nice and mixed up. 
And I'm just going to take a nice paintbrush. Clean it off first. Oh, you got a new laptop clipping? Cool. Okay, so let me put this lid back on this glitter before we have a glitter explosion. So I'm going to take this, and this gets really super, like, mm, chunky. Not chunky. I can't say chunky. It gets very textural. Gritty. Because of the glitter. And I'm going to follow the same... path that I used uh, with the paintbrush to make the texture with the molding paste. And you're going to want to use a good bit of this nice heavy coat. And you can also do this, you can put glitter in uh, Maj Paj also. And so keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to, so I have that one all painted up really good. So while it is wet, I have these Aurora Borealis Mica Flakes. I'm just going to get some in my hand here. And I'm just going to go and sprinkle. Sometimes you just kind of have to move them around. I'm just going to make sure that these are all kind of sticking. Tap off any little loose hangovers. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just go over this with a very light just kind of moves them around and the you probably can't see the glitter and you probably can't see the mica flakes that I put in here shimmering so 
So I'm going to put this one aside for a minute or two. And i got to get these off here for just a second. And we're going to get this one coated with the glitter paint. Set a nice heavy coat. And then we're going to take some of these flakes. While it's wet. these around just a little bit with my finger and get any loose ones hanging off the edges I'm just going to, here again, with kind of a dry brush, just kind of go over and kind of move them around. Another thing you can use is uh, fantasy film on here, or the uh, fantasy fiber, if you ever heard of that. Alright, I'm going to soak my brush right now. And I got to clean off the edges. So there's the other one. So there, I got two angel wings that we're going to have to let dry just a wee bit. And then we can hit it with a little bit of the metallic paint. I'm 
going to use the and yes I did shoot some of these all over the place hi Dar okay so I'm going to take some of this metallic pearl white paint again and we're just going to dry brush it on there give it a nice little bit of metallic look to it and I'm just going along the edges along the edge I'm just going to add a few little streaks through the wing itself. And I'll hold that up so you guys can see. I don't know if you can see the metallic shimmer. This one's kind of hard to see because it's white on white. Hi, Gina. So let me do that to the other one here. And then we're going to hit it with a little bit of um, some Lindy's. These are a lot of fun. it. Like 
great. So now we got two very angelical looking angel wings and I am just going to spray it as soon as I find my color. The So I have Baby Blue Eyes Aqua in the Starburst Spray. And we're just going to give it a nice little burst of color. Just like that. Just so we have a little bit of a variation. And then I'm going to use, this is Glitz Spritz. This is just the shimmer without color. And I'm actually using Desert Moon Cactus Gold. So it's going to give a very pretty, 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 pretty gold shimmer to it. And it'll, it will give a slight color. A little yellow. So we'll let them dry just a few minutes. And I need a wet wipe for my hands. Look at me. I'm a I'm a Yep, the um the wing collection, these are the large wings. Um they're the big ones, right, the angel wings that I just was working on, those are um, six and a half inches. They're nice big ones for canvases, for art dolls. Um, you get three different styles of wings. I'll show you the other ones for those of you who just came in. Let me just get my hands clean. This has taken more than one wet light. Because I have the glitter that I put in the paint and it's like, kind of comes becomes cement on your fingers. I just don't want to transfer this onto anything. Okay. So I got those all... So we have, let me hold these ones up first so you guys can see the gold and the blue shimmer that I added to it. Can you see that? So you have these, and you can see how big they are. They, they are longer than my hand. Okay, so these are like six and a half inches. Then you get the butterfly wings, and this one I did the shabby chic rusted um, painted metal. Technique on that one. And these are a good almost six inches. So there they are in the palm of my hand. These are the smaller of the three that come in the collection. And then we have the fairy wings. And remember this, I did the faux metal, metal technique with aluminum foil and with Mod Podge. So that's what this one looks like. Okay. So let me just, oh, you probably aren't going to be able to see these ones on here. So there's the butterfly. And there's the angels. 
and these are the fairies. And you can see these are the angel wings and this is the same wing that I used on the canvas that I made like a couple months ago. The steampunk canvas and I did the faux metal technique on them. These are the same wings. So, and these ones are about six and a half inches too. You from the tip up here to the tip down here. That's how I measured them. So these are um, you get all three sets for three ninety nine. And they're available in my store. And I will be making some smaller ones for those of you who like to do like smaller projects with them. For the smaller projects, I should say. These are more like mixed media um, and canvas um, art dolls. So next week, I'm going to take these wings that we did, and um, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do two projects with them, okay? One is going to be a canvas with these wings, and these are the kind of shabby chic looking, and these wings I'm going to make an art doll. So you can see what they look like with this. Oh, I should hold them up. Okay. And these wings, I already did a project, which I showed you. I just did a different technique to them. And this was the canvas that I did a while ago. The steampunk canvas. Oh, thank you, Dar. Awesome. Thanks a lot. So, yeah, so you have to tune in next week because I'm going to be using these in a project. And I also have, hopefully soon, I'm still tweaking some bugs out of them on the frame that I designed. Um, I will have them up shortly too for purchase. Love the SP. What's SP? Not to be dumb, but... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can't wait to see what you create with them, too, Dar. Oh, steampunk. Steampunk. Oh, you like my steampunk. I would send it to somebody, but this um, glass piece right here makes this canvas so heavy that it would probably cost me about $40 to send this to you. unfortunately and I don't have another one of these otherwise I'd make more because they'd make awesome uh, they'd be awesome on a tag too oh and just so you guys know like for any of these wings let me grab I just want to show you something really super super cool that you can do because they don't have to, the wings don't have to be behind like an image or um, anything like that. You can actually, hold on, I'm trying to find, ah, there's a nice keyhole. You can put 
like a keyhole, like this isn't big enough. Like I obviously would have to have a nice big keyhole. And this would make an awesome um, hanging piece. And you can actually put like a uh, image of a girl, like a small image of a girl inside this little spot here, or you can even just put an eye. Oh, uh, thank you, Dar. I should auction it off. I should. But this would make a really cool, like, wall hanging with the angel wings and the keyhole. Oh, I should turn the keyhole around so it's in the right direction here. Or a heart. You can make so much with these wings. So much. It would be totally awesome. Oh, another thing you can do is if you guys have um, any of these dress forms from Want to Scrap and their chipboard dress forms. You could really dress these up. See this? It's a big one. It's like uh, 10 inches tall. Hold on. i got to move my bins that I just dragged out so I can actually reach my table. You could take any of these wings and do something like this. Oops. I guess I should move it into camera, huh? You could totally go steampunk with these wings, but and you can even use these angel wings. Let me use the angels. So we can get them lined up. Look at that. Yes, they are chipboard. They're um, a lightweight chipboard so you can uh, bend them like I did these wings. I kind of, they don't lay flat. I kind of gave them a little bit of a bend to them. So, um, yeah, they're lightweight and I have them, um, I can cut them in white or black. I just have the white up for right now. But if you want black, Dar, let me know because I can cut um, a set. Oh, do you mean do a show with the um, dress form? Kristen, what are you talking about $50? What's $50? Okay, wait for you. All right, that's fine. Okay. So, yeah, they're, um, it's bendable, but it is chipboard. And this is, this isn't chipboard that's going to crack when you go to bend them. This is actually just going to curve with what you're doing. It's actually called whiteboard. Oh, she's bidding on my canvas. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sold to Kristen for $50 plus shipping. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, hi, bid. Okay. Oh, you know what else you could use is a bird cage too. That'd be awesome to give a bird cage some wings, considering that birds are in them. How cool would that be? Gears and wings. Yes, we could do. You can steampunk them out with some gears and everything else. Absolutely. 
I just happened to do the angel because I already did the metal on the other one, so I just wanted to do something different for these ones. I think these might be a little too small for that, yeah. Yep, gears and wings. That those are my two favorite things: gears and wings and dress forms. And sometimes bird cages. Right. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? Keys, yep. You can put a key in there, a nice big key. Yep, give a bird wings and let them fly. Does anybody have any questions before? I'm actually done a few minutes early. <laughs> I love it all too, Dar. Okay, so if you are um, wanting to purchase these and um, you're watching the recording, you can go to www the altered muse studio dot com and I have them up in this in my store there. Yes, I did record it. Yep. So next week, like I said, I'm going to be doing a project with these wings. We're going to make an art doll. And these wings, I'm going to do a canvas. And I'm going to put my um, new baby granddaughter's picture in here. I'm going to cut her out and I'm going to give her some wings. Okay, thank you for coming. I'm going to stop recording, so thank you for watching or coming to the